Okay, so I'm gonna try once again to see if I could get this at the right angle. Uh, the first video I did was of the Kyoto Rebel Tech line of action figures for the 25th anniversary of Hakuto no Ken, Fist of the North Star in North America and in the West. So I'm just gonna try to do another quick run through of the figures. It's not a complete collection by any means, but I'm a huge fan of the series, so eventually when it does get complete, we'll cover it then, okay? So there we have the main character, any Fist in the North Star fans already recognize him. Kenshiro comes with lots of accessories, See, so he probably has about four different hands, a pair of nunchucks, extra face for when he goes into his battle cry right there. Right next to him you see his uh, adopted brother Toki, one of my favorite characters in the manga and the anime. There he has that extra, extra pair of accessories, see the pair of chains that are attached to his wrist when he was locked up by his brother Rao, aka Keno, when he was in the uh, Cassandra prison. As another accessory for his face so you could switch him to Amoeba. In case you feel like you know reenacting that whole scene, then we have the other Hokuto Shinken failure, Jagi. Nobody really likes this guy, but you have to admit he made it a big impression on the series. Has an extra shotgun, extra pair of hands, nice design overall, and basically for all the figures in the series in this Revoltex series, they have nice paint and nice articulation. Especially in the joints, the number of poses that you can do. So I definitely compliment them on that. We have Uyghur, the warden of the Cassandra prison. Early on in the first story arc right there. Striking a mean pose. Now let's just see if we could go to... Well, before we go to Ray, we go to Shin. Well, let's see if we could back up a little on him. Probably getting a little bit too much reflection on him, but there he is. Shin, right there. The first major protagonist, sorry, antagonist in the manga and the anime. Now we have Rei. He's another fan favorite. He has the dark hair like he does in the manga. And he actually comes with a Fan Clan member. Actually tucked away in there. I don't know if you could see because the reflection of the light. Probably one of my other favorite characters is a blind fighter, another Nanto practitioner. Really helps out Kenshiro in improving his confidence and ultimately causes a dramatic buildup when you watch the anime in the Souther episode. And speaking of the bastard, here he is, Souther. He has his uh, infamous spear. His mask strikes a lot of terror, not only into the children he enslaved and imprisoned, but also to uh, the hearts of the SNK developers when they thought of Keith Howard. Clearly your inspiration. Now we have uh, Zed, the first major, oh he's not a major, he's the first actual enemy that got his ass kicked by Kenshiro that we actually saw his trademark attack. And it's important to note for this figure, let me just zoom in right there. It kind of has a abilities of a transformer that you can use him if you want to ever illustrate the absolute gore that uh, Fist of the North Star is known for. See, it's uh, much more violent than it's shown in the anime and probably the manga as well. See his spines, his guts exploding, completely torn apart very good. You might want to pick up probably three or four of those if you want to set up a good display. Then we have White Haired Ray. It's a great variation. Again, going according to the storyline of the manga and the anime, right there. Then we have a uh, Final Fight Kenshiro. Not from the Capcom 1989 arcade game with Cody and Guy and Hagar, but from his final confrontation with Raul, right there. And then we're just gonna go over to, uh, this is not the Rebel Tech line, this is just a basic Kyoto figure, Kenshiro, Volume 4, based on his look and incarnation on 
Bokuto no Ken too. And then there's Yuta, for some reason, who never actually got the chance to get his own Revoltech figure. Reveltech figure, sorry. So, here he is. I just wanted to get most of the Nanto stars, Southern Star styles complete here. And then, here we just have the masterpiece. I'm just going to pan down here. Alright, it's going to get a little bit shaky, but bear with me. Alright, so this is, as it states, ultimate box set of uh, Kenshiro and uh, Rao Steed Koku right there and this is pretty huge this is a uh, pretty much uh, as good as you could get for a collector's item when it comes to Fist of the North Star and Okuto no Ken fans and just to give you the idea of the depth and the scale right next to it is a retail box of a PlayStation 3 console and then you could clearly see the difference in size right there. I'm going to try to back up as much as I can so you can see it. And there it is. This is a huge collector's item. Not only in value, but literally it is huge. I mean, it's practically the size of a small TV or a computer monitor, whatever you prefer. But you can just see the difference in packaging and scale. So basically there you have it. And it's a... Uh, Incomplete Hokuto no Ken collection, and I know you're probably wondering where's the Rao figure, where's Keno? Seriously, I don't like the guy. Plus, they have about like three different variations of him. I'm only interested in the last one where he's on Kokuo again. The price is kind of high, but I'm sure to get it probably in the next few weeks. So, basically, just I'm just gonna get him to complete the collection, but. This is it in a nutshell, and that's it, so let's cut out.